Hello everyone, in this video I'm going over licensing changes in Microsoft Log Analytics. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going over licensing changes that took effect April 2018 with Microsoft Log Analytics. When I started this video I had a slide, matter of fact I think it was a slide, uh, that went over the three different pricing tiers, the free, uh, standalone per gig, and then uh, per node option with log analytics. So uh, this has changed and Microsoft's moving to an all consumption based um, uh, uh, pricing tier. Um, if you have uh, this in place already on your subscription, you can continue to use this or move to a uh, per gig uh, pricing tier. So if I go into my log analytics page, I have uh, two subscriptions, one where OMS has been onboarded. Uh, that one is the pre-April 2018 licensing model. And then I've got another uh, subscription that has no OMS workspace onboarded. So that's going to be the uh, post um, or the April 18th licensing will take effect on that. And I can show you by going to add. Um, Oh, that's probably taken. We'll just throw in a fake name. Now, if I go to my Visual Studio Enterprise, um, I'll create a new, again, new resource group. I'm just demonstrating. I'm not actually going to set it up. So this is the subscription that I already had no OMS workspace uh, associated with. With that, I only have the option or I have the old options of a free per node or per gig. However, if I change it to the pay as you go, you can see I only have one option and that's price per tier. So um, if you already have an OMS workspace set up and that's prior to the April uh, 2018 change, you will continue to have that functionality. Uh, if you set up a brand new workspace after April 2018, or the first uh, onboarding of a workspace into that subscription, you're going to get the per gig usage model. Now, uh, what if you want to change or what if you want to uh, uh, modify that? I'm going to show you how to look at that right here. Um, if you go into monitoring and then at the bottom, there is an option for usage and estimated cost. Now you can see I have my uh, subscription pre-April 2018 selected. And I have an option here to click to estimate your cost in the new pricing model. I don't use this a lot, obviously. There's not a lot of data going to it. So you can see it's at two cents a month versus if I click here to go back to uh, the estimated cost with the current pr model, it's uh, much less, but still um, it's almost free there because I am using the free model. So if I change to my pay as I go, well, I don't have anything set up there. So what I want to do is change my pre-April 2018 to uh, post-April 2018. And I do that by going into pricing model selection on top. And I can select to use that. It's going to throw out a warning and make sure you read that and you understand the pricing change and, and what that means. If you're paying per node, it might be a better value to stay per node uh, depending on how much data you're sending to Log Analytics. However, in my case, I'm not sending a lot of data and I wasn't using per node. I'd rather go with the new model where it's by based on consumption so I can get all the options um, uh, and uh, longer retention on my data. So if I save that, that's it. Now my pricing model's changed. Uh, so that's really all that there is to it. Uh, the new model includes all features, and it's a straight-up consumption-based model per gig uh, per month with your first five gigs free. 
Um, you can continue to use the old model if that's what you want to use and you've already started using it where uh, that may be important if you're on a per gig or I'm sorry, a per node model and sending a lot of data to it uh, to log analytics. So I hope that helps clarify some of the changes with licensing in Microsoft OMS log analytics. Thank you.